a snare. That's a trap. Whether it's bondage, a lie, a falsehood, the list is endless. A snare is something that binds you up and traps you, wraps you up where you can't function. But listen, the fear of man bringeth a snare. But whoso putteth their trust in the Lord shall be safe. Safe from what? <laughs> safe from man. <clears throat> safe from the world, as we read earlier. Safe from the devil and all his fiery darts and the attacks from hell. You're on the safe zone, church. Amen. Don't you understand that? You're on safe ground. Mm -hmm. We sing about holy ground, that's safe ground. Mm -hmm. Wherever Jesus is, is holy. Wherever holy is, is safe. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? We are safe in His presence. We are safe because we trust Him. We yield to Him. We surrender to Him. We pray to Him. We love Him. We serve Him. That makes you safe. Oh, if the devil could, he'd kill you. He's tried so many different ways, so many different styles, so many different ups and downs and all around, but you know what? <clears throat> he can't because you're safe Amen. in the arms and hand of God. What does the Bible say? No man can pluck you out of my hand. Amen. Right. Amen. No devil can pluck you out of the hand of God. You're safe there. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You're safe in the hands of God. And you'll always be safe. Every one of us should have been dead by now if the devil had his way. But he couldn't. He could only go so far and no more. Just like with Job. So far and no more. God said, that's it. Enough's enough. They've been tried and proven true. Back off, devil. Right. Amen. Safe in the hands of God. Amen. Think about it. Some of you had accidents, but you're still here. Amen. Could have been killed. Some of you have been, you know, maybe attacked one way or another, Amen. but you're still here. Amen. And sometimes you, you go through so many things you don't even know about, and God spares your life. Amen. The enemy is setting you up for a snare, for a trap, for an accident, for whatever. You could be walking to the store and somebody's in the alley with a pipe waiting to rob somebody at random. And God says, no, -uh, not this one. That's my child. You ain't touching him. And for some reason, that old crook is standing there like this. You don't even know he's there. And for some reason, he don't want you. Now they look poor. They don't have the money. You know, well, who knows what God puts in their mind and let you walk by I feel sorry for the next one but you were safe glory be to God hey somebody ought to shout right there thank you Jesus Bible said we win because the joy of the Lord is our strength that's why the devil fights you so hard to steal your joy because he knows joy brings strength Amen. And I've seen so many Christians that have lost their joy. Thank God a lot of them get it back, but some of them don't. Mm -hmm. Because they've been believing the lies of the devil. But they don't realize how important and how powerful joy is. Yes. And it's not easy to be joyful in an unjoyful world. Mm -hmm. But you can only find that joy in and through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen? Amen? And when you have that, my God, it doesn't matter what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. Because you've got that peace and that joy. That passeth all understanding. Somebody look at you. What are you laughing about? What are you joyful for? You know what I mean? They're mad at you for being happy. Jealous because you got joy. Their daggers are coming out of their eyes. You know what I mean? Why? Because you got the joy of the Lord. Why? Because you happen to believe the word of God. And you're following the word of God Amen. to the best of your ability. And therefore, the word that brings joy. Amen. Unspeakable, the Bible says, and full of glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil rob your joy because that's your strength for the battle. So if he robs your joy, he robs your strength, he robs you, you lose the battle, you become a loser instead of a winner. Amen. Maybe somebody feels like that right now. Well, you can get your joy back Amen. Amen. just by believing the Word of God, just by claiming the Word of God. Stop. Listen, you got two choices. You believe the devil or you believe the Lord. You believe his lies or you believe the truth. 
you yield to the Lord, the devil in the flesh, or you lead to the Lord in the Spirit of God. Hello! It really comes down to choice. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Choose ye this day who you will believe. Choose ye this day who you're going to follow. Choose ye this day whether you're going to be happy or sad. There it is. Come on. Victorious or defeated. There are choices all day long that we make. I have to make them. My wife makes them. A lot of times we make them together. Because two are stronger than one. Right. And a threefold cord is hard to break, the Bible said. Right. So it's me, her, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can you lose? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Psalms chapter coming in for a landing. Psalms chapter 118, verse 6. The Lord is on my side. <laughs> ah, there's more to it, but i got to camp here for a minute. Ooh, that just hit me. Did it hit you? Yes. The Lord is on my side. Amen. If you're on the Lord's side, He's on your side. Hallelujah. Let's move on. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Or what can the devil do unto me? Why should I fear if the Lord is on my side? Amen. Why should you worry if the Lord's on your side? Why should you lose sleep if the Lord's on your side? Why would you worry about where your next meal is coming from if the Lord is on your side? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why would you worry about how the bills are going to get paid when they ain't getting paid if the Lord's on your side? He's going to make a way where there is no way. Amen. You're here, ain't you? Because He made a way. Hallelujah. Ooh. We ain't going to fear anything but God. We need to fear God in a holy reverence. Amen. Amen. Ooh, man or the devil. Man and the devil is limited. But God is unlimited. You know, the only limits that God has is what we put on him. And we put them on by our lack of faith. We limit God. Jesus walked into his own hometown. The Bible says, records, he could do very few miracles. When that's all he was doing was miracle after miracle after miracle. But when he went to his own hometown, he did very few miracles. Why? The Bible because of their own belief. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Jesus, uh, his daddy over here, Joseph the carpenter, mm -hmm. as far as they knew, and his mother Mary, and his brothers and sisters around with us, mm -hmm. unbelief. Unbelievable. The devil will try to put everything in your mind to get you to, not to believe the, the total truth. Mm -hmm. Or he'll twist some of the truth. Yeah. Whatever it takes, he'll do it. You just can't let him get away with it. Amen. 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 You can't let him get away with it. Praise God. That's how you become a winner. By believing the word of God. You don't go by your feelings. Mm -hmm. Because if we all went by our feelings, we'd all be a bunch of losers. Because mm -hmm. you don't always feel like a winner. But you know you're a winner in your spirit. You know you're a winner in your mind. Yeah. You know you're a winner because God's word says so. That's right. mm -hmm. Amen. That's what you go by. Not your feelings. Amen. You can wake up one day and get a phone call. And you're like, you know, knock you right out of the game. Mm -hmm. But no, you got to filter all that. You got to work, work your way through all that until you become victorious over it. Amen. Until you become more than a conqueror through it. Amen. Amen? As we read earlier, we win because Christ made it all possible for us to be winners. Hallelujah. In closing, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint. Listen now. And to them that have no might, He increases strength. I deal with people from our church and other churches and other ministries and people out in the public that call me and tell me they feel weak, they feel faint, they have no strength for the battle. They feel like they're being defeated and they're losing. And oftentimes I quote the Scripture. Says, even the weak among us, even the faint-hearted, He said here, increases strength Amen. when they just trust the Lord. Amen. Amen. So again, whether you feel like it or not, doesn't matter. It's what you do with it, your feelings, that matters. You put them in submission to the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because He said He gives you power. Power to overcome. Amen? It's what it says here. Is God a liar? Is a word not true? He giveth power to the faint-hearted. Come on. And to them that have no might, you have no strength. They're all weak, wore out. Mm -hmm. 
from fighting. Amen. But you know what? When you get like that, that means you're fighting in the flesh and not in the spirit. Because mm -hmm. you don't get tired in the spirit. Amen. Only your flesh gets tired. Hello. Amen. But he says he increases strength. Increases your faith. Increases your hope. Increases the odds tremendously that you come up a winner. How many feel like a winner so far? Anybody? Amen. Any winners in here? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the weak are strong because of his power. That's verse of scripture. Psalms chapter 81 verse 24. Be ye of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Stand with me as we close. Hallelujah. All ye that hope in the Lord, he will give you strength. Amen. He will give you courage. He said, be of good courage. So if you've been kind of down, You've been kind of going through some battles. You've been going through some wars. You feel a little weak. You feel a little worn. Be of good courage. Amen. That's what the word is today. Be of good courage. Be of good cheer. Put your hope in Him. Hold on. Be strong. It won't be long. The breakthrough is coming. Amen. Amen. That's what you have to keep confessing. Confess it until you believe it. Because words ain't enough. you got to believe it. Amen. You've got to believe it. Whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're believing God for, whatever you're trusting God for, keep your hope alive. Amen? And it will come to pass. Because all things are possible to them that believe. Amen? Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Glory be to God. In closing, if anybody watching my internet, you don't know the Lord, we want to give you an invitation. We told you from the beginning. We give you an invitation to either repent, Receive Christ for the first time or repent and rededicate your life if you slipped away. Or if you've been feeling like you're a loser, but maybe the sermon has touched your heart, encouraged you, challenged your faith, so you can start being a winner. Let's pray this prayer together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, come in the name of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord forgive all my sins. All my sins. Come, into my come into my heart. Save my soul. Save and make me whole. And, make me whole. And, therefore, and therefore, I can be a winner because you don't make any losers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give him a praise for being a winner. Hallelujah.